everybody got this one wrong. Okay, we're playing on a Wednesday, the 22nd. A game breaks, the two and the three seed come over from the broken game. I had never seen either of those two guys. The other six of us, you know, I see most of them almost every day. The rest are locals, including me, I guess, if I'm a local around here. So, the three gets into a hand pretty quickly, and he doesn't announce a number for the bet, but he's cutting chips out near his stack, and it just seems like he's not, he doesn't play that much, and he's not good at cutting chips out. So, he's cutting them out in stacks of 10, like two chips each. It's taking a while. It's not taking that long that I would get mad. Things have taken a long time. I've had to tell people it's on them multiple times, each hand, every hand they play all night. This wasn't that bad at all. But the one seat gets very agitated about how slow this is, like really, really quickly. If you want to tell the guy there's more ways to bet, there's ways to do it, you could be polite. You could tell him, you know, you could say the number so action can continue while you, you know, get all your chips together. You could say, you know, you're allowed to say the number and then it'll move on to the next guy and you could just slide out a big stack, the dealer will cut it out. You know, he's probably better at cutting chips out than you. There are ways to do it. The one seat like very quickly was mad and said, you don't have to waste so much time. Like you're not good at cutting chips out like this. You don't have to waste all of our time like this. Just say the number, just say the number so action can go. He said something like very close to that. So this hand plays out. The three seat at first was like mostly apologetic he was kind of annoyed like people were this mad at him for like making a bet and at first he was like okay with it but the one seat like wouldn't let up and kept trying to tell him like how much time he's wasting and the three seat started becoming not so apologetic about it it gets to the point where the three seat puts out six dollars for some reason or he counted to six in spanish i don't remember why if there was like a six dollar straddle he was calling or something he counts to six in spanish because everyone's telling him you know just announce the number he counts to six in spanish the dealer who watches the videos so thanks for watching the videos he says as a joke english only at the table which was one of the worst timed jokes not that he knew it but one of the worst timed jokes ever the three seat then says about the one seat well what about him his english isn't good which is true. English is not the first language of the one seat, and he doesn't speak it well. That's a fact. It's not racist. The guy didn't say this about every person from the one seat's country. He said his English isn't that good. I mean, it was a diss. I would not call it a racist thing that he said. Well, the five seat flips out about this. He was already backing up the one seat, I guess, because they're both, lo both locals. And at this point, he says, don't talk to the... I don't want to say their names. Don't talk to the one seat about this. That's my boy. All right? Don't talk to him like this. And he winds up threatening him with physical violence, which he claimed later never happened, but it happened. The six also thought this was one of the worst racist comments of all time. He wasn't saying a ton, but he did think that was a racist comment and it was unacceptable. So the floor gets called. The floor, you know, you never know what happened if you weren't really there. So the floor gets called. He tells everyone to stop. He says, uh, you know, if he has to come back, someone's getting ejected, maybe even the whole table. So he leaves. The next hand, the one and the three, get all in, the three wins. Important for purposes of understanding that now the three seat is sitting on 750. So a few hands go by, and the one, the five, and the six are still, like, not talking nicely about the three seat, and he's getting more and more agitated. It gets to the point a couple hands later where the three seat makes a bet and he announces, he announces 80 and then gets a bunch of chips and you know, the three seat looking at the dealer, the one seat isn't quite, you know, in your line of view, but he like turns his head to the one and says, can I count my chips out now? Well, the one seat lost it. He stood up, the dealer kind of like prevented him from like standing the whole way up and it looked like they might fight if the dealer didn't do anything. The floor gets called, the floor kicks out the three seat which, I mean, it's not his fault, he wasn't there for any of this. The one, after he leaves, you know, the one and the five and the six think this is one of the greatest, you know, ejections of all time. 
if you're wondering, the five seat has been banned before, the six seat has been banned before. The worst part is that they let a guy who had 750, who was definitely gonna lose all of it, leave the table. The five seat has never won a hand against me at Showdown. The six seat has never won a hand against me at Showdown. I'm still at the table. They're not gonna win a hand against me. But the three seat, who was definitely gonna lose all 750, he's gone. They keep talking about how that was the worst racist comment of all time, saying to the one seat, you know, what about his English? Something like that. Meanwhile, as soon as he leaves, they say his English isn't very good. I also left out the part where uh, the one seat said to the three, um, if you can't cut out chips, then just say the number. Like, it's clear you don't know how. You're stupid, you didn't go to school. All right, he said that was the point, not word for word in his, you know, decent English, but he said something like that. So apparently it was terrible to tell the one seat your English isn't very good, which is true, but it's perfectly acceptable to tell the three seat he's stupid, he didn't go to school, and his English isn't very good. So. I wouldn't have kicked anyone out. I wouldn't call anything that was said racist. The thing the five and the six claimed were the worst racist comments of all time. They said that exact same thing about the three seat after he was gone. Um, and worst of all, he left with a 750. Um, I was actually telling a, a friend of mine uh, a couple months ago, I am willing to accept almost anything at the table short of like racist comments like that's a big one there are a few things that are unacceptable racist comments is one of them but that wasn't racist to me like i'm willing to let a lot of other things go because you know the guy is terrible and he's going to lose all of his money they did that guy the biggest favor of the night by making sure he left and couldn't lose the money after he doubled up by getting him kicked out like, if you really want to punish this guy, not that I think a punishment made sense for the three seat, make him stay and lose that 750 back to us. But no, they got him kicked out, they left with 750, they barely mentioned the fact that, you know, he had so much money in front of him that they wanted to win. But I don't know, they thought it was so great getting him kicked out, and I wouldn't have, I don't think what he did was racist. The one seat definitely started it, and the one seat said just as bad things to him as he said to the one, the five and the six, said much worse things to the three than the three said to anybody. But I don't know, the locals kind of ganged up on a non-local and got him kicked out and uh, made sure he left for the night with $750. So things like that happen in uh, poker rooms. Don't blame the floor at all. It's tough when you're not there for any of it. You're just hearing like a very quick summary of what went on. So uh, mainly the fault is on the, uh, the five seat. Um, he really started the uh, getting ejected um, path and I mean it was like a verbal altercation but nothing bad I don't think was gonna happen uh, before the five seat really chimed in and started getting aggressive and things like that but that's it uh, at least it was entertaining uh, things like this don't happen in Vegas so much even with all the uh, people who are drunk and seem to uh, really come to town for some uh, drug use and things like that but uh, we've had some entertaining things here happen at uh, the Horseshoe Council Bluffs.